Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're doing something a little bit different. That's almost becoming a little bit of a cliche now, like anytime I don't game, that's what I say. Every time I go outside, I'm like, today we're doing something a little bit different, and then quickly change my mind and come inside and play games. But yeah, this is going to be a kind of a one-on-one -on -one here between me and you. No one else is watching this, it's just yourself and myself. And uh, I just wanted to have a bit of chat about me, about my content, and uh, thanking you for watching, I suppose. Uh, however long you've been watching, unless this is the very first video you watched of mine, in which case... Why why are you here? <laughs> I'm very confused, but I'm okay with it. You can stay just know there is a shortage of chairs But yeah, it's been a very long time since I did this this kind of personal video And I feel like I don't do it enough because I, I have this thing where I, obviously a lot of my Focused content is, is gaming and comedy and whatnot and then I'm like no one actually wants to hear from me or, or anything like that like I did a lot of conventions well when I say a lot I did two, three conventions um, last year. I think it was three, yeah, three. And it was my first year doing conventions. And on my very first one, it was Insomnia. And uh, even being on stage there was just such a strange experience for me, but I really enjoyed it. Like right away, I'm surprised how much I fed off that energy. But when I was up there, I had a real hard time a answering any question, like honestly, because I tried to get the whole thing recorded and just watch it back and see how I answer and whatnot. And although I was kind of happy with how it went, I felt I found it very hard to answer truthfully because I'm surprised anyone actually wants to get advice or hear from me about anything. But I really want to thank you for watching, as I said earlier on, before I get too carried away with my rambles and telling you a bit about me and whatnot. I just want to thank you for supporting my content through 2019. I hope you'll stick around for 2020 and maybe even beyond that. That would be just fantastic because th this is all I want to do. I don't have anything else that that I'm currently doing. There's no business outside of it because I, I just want to do this and I'm really lucky to be on this train, I guess, and I want to stay on it until it until it stops, essentially, until I'm not able to do it anymore. But I, I can't really express how how privileged I feel and how fortunate I feel to be in this position. And um, I know it doesn't come across a lot in my content because it is all the comedy based and whatnot. I, I say it at the end of every video, like I appreciate you watching and it is so genuine. And um, I know it's kind of cliche, but it does mean a lot to me because this is and has been for for the past while now been the the focus uh, and my drive of of uh, what keeps me going as a person. So I'm I'm very lucky that you all allow me to do what I do. It's, it's a very strange feeling. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for that. About me, I don't like to say a lot about me because I'm honestly not that interesting. Like I, I say that it is my main focus and drive and that is 100% honest. I don't do a lot of other stuff. I'm not that interesting of a guy. I play video games and that's kind of it. To give a general gist, if you don't know anything about me, which is entirely understandable because I haven't done a video about me in so so long and sometimes I make references and whatnot but when I started this YouTube channel I, I did videos years ago and then I left to make a business I'm just summarizing this up because I don't want to repeat it for everyone who's already know the story but uh I I basically started a business I it was going fine and then I got involved in a car crash where a car hit me I got injured I started making um, videos again for fun because I, I couldn't really do much else I had to sell the business because the the injuries and then um, I got back into YouTube full time and uh, it wasn't really making me any money but it was still just something to kind of keep me going and actually doing something and have a schedule and it eventually led to this so it's so strange how one of the most positive outcomes was achieved by getting one of the most negative situations in my life. I keep, I keep finding that happens. Like everything good in my life comes from something so bad. <laughs> Every uh, negative seems to make a positive for me in the end. So it's a good um, lesson, I suppose, that if stuff does get bad, that it could end up with turning out with the best outcomes. But um, yeah, that's basically how I'm how I'm here and how I'm doing this. It's it's strange because it definitely put me in one of the worst spaces I've been in and then it's something I'd never undo if I could. <laughs> very, very bizarre. But uh, I've been really happy making content ever since and I think a lot of that is by changing things up a bit, which kind of brings me to my next point. I know the channel has changed a little bit in terms of um, maybe not uh, a lot of the content, um, but uh, with the titles and thumbnails and stuff like that. And the reason for that, I loved my, my title themes and having bought in every title. 
and the, the certain type of thumbnail I was making, but uh, it just didn't feel as unique anymore. And I, I was growing a bit tired of it, uh, forcing a title to have a button in it when it didn't really work as a title and so many other people do it now and I I don't have an issue with that but it just didn't feel as special to me anymore because when I started doing it I thought this is something someone will see and if they watched a video of me three weeks ago they'll go oh it's this guy again whereas now it doesn't really feel like that um, and again I have no issue with it it's just I, I wanted to do something different and uh, doing the thumbnails the same every day kind of got wearing so that's kind of why I changed it up a bit and I like the new style I'm going for and just mixing it up and do my own thing with it so that's kind of why that changed and it's mad to even think that the content like at the start of last year like we rarely did face cam very very rarely did a face cam and now it's like every video and I i'm again trying to adjust that a bit i wanted a little bit less because i feel like it was going a bit overboard at one point there but um it's crazy just to think that the content has change like that steadily and it's very strange to think of how it used to be but i do hope you're you're still enjoying the content if you've been around for a long while and i hope that changes don't annoy you because i'll always listen to the feedback i'd still do read a lot of the comments i am very bad at replying to comments but um i i try and read them it is uh, truly still overwhelming for me <laughs> like when i look at it at a, at a numbers perspective looking at those comments is very scary i i get that way with all my things whether it be discord or you know uh, twitter or uh, inbox messages or whatever i get very overwhelmed and it it almost feels like a mountain that i can't i can't even begin to climb <laughs> so i try my best i know i need to be better at that um but i know that i also read a lot of your feedback whether it be reddit or twitter or in the comments here so I, i'm always willing for constructive criticism or feedback to actually be taken on board if you get me we spoke a bit about conventions earlier as well and i'd like to do some more in the the coming year that we have in 2020 i i think i'll be going to at least one in the uk and i i hope that i'll get the opportunity to get to one in the states because i have so many of you following me in the states and i feel like i've not gotten the chance to do anything over there um not to be a, a sob story but i'm kind of limited on travel in some ways because of injuries i'm don't get me wrong i'm i'm being a complete baby here the space thing is an issue for me so i i don't get over there a lot but i'm hoping maybe i could do something on the east coast at least and try and meet some of you over there um, because the conventions that I've gone to, like the meet and greets, have been such a positive experience. Like, I don't think I took anything negative from any of them. It's been so, so good. So I definitely want to do more of that. And I just want to keep making content as best I could. I want to do more stuff in real life and do more long-term projects, I suppose. And I, I don't mean anything insane. I don't want to go out and get a film crew and film all this wild stuff. I just mean, like stuff like the app nana thing that i did was uh, which was one of my favorite videos um it, it was done over so many months and like little chunks and little bits and it's like i i was really proud of that video so i'd like to do more stuff like that if i could I'd like to do more stuff uh, like the vin diesel video that i did where i do like little intros in front of my big green screen and um i know you guys always give me shit for this one but look th there's a reason this is up do you see what I mean? Like, I, I don't want you to be looking at that all the time. I guess I just want to be more creative. I want to do more multiplayer stuff. I want to just change it up a little bit and uh, keep things fresh for me. And I don't want to be like just in a routine where I'm like, oh, I have to do this today. I have to do that today. And it has to be the same thing day in and day out. I'm very lucky I do gaming content because I definitely couldn't do this with any other genre. <laughs> you think I could vlog every day? <laughs> a vlog for me would be depressing. I already feel like I'm rambling in this video and I'm, I'm hoping not to ramble too much longer, but I'm just trying to get it all out there so we have a one-on-one -on -one chat. Before I finish my ramble, I wanted to talk about something as well because it seems to be quite a common theme and it can be quite overwhelming at times, but um, I do get messages quite a lot of uh, that I help people with X, Y, or Z and um, it's super relatable to me because when I was um, a, a young lad, we'll say from ages, I don't know, 10 to 16, I used to get quite ill. Again, nothing like life threatening, but I just had a lot of stomach issues and um, I'd be out of school a lot. And it's kind of why I'm so into games because I used to play them a lot because we lived in the country, didn't have really anyone to talk to, didn't really have much else to do. So I played a lot of games. Um, I remember like renting video games and I'd rent them for like a week. So it's super relatable to me. It's hard to get back 
to everyone and I try my best but it it is really a, a relatable subject to me and I'm glad I can help in that way I'm not trying to overstate what I do I know that I'm merely a distraction and I'm happy to be that distraction I'm not saying that I'm doing anything big here because really I'm not I'm making gaming videos and putting them on the internet but I, I'm just saying I really appreciate that uh, people can get that out of my content and I'm hoping that I can help in any way I can but I also wanted to say it on the flip side that you guys helped me a lot with that stuff because although 2019 was a it was a, a good year for me there was ups and downs throughout and um, this also serves as a great distraction to me and uh, I never have to fake being happy when I'm doing these videos because I kind of get lost in them and I, I like do get joy when I'm making them and I find things very funny and I love messing with janky games and getting a laugh out of them so they're a fantastic distraction if I do have bad times and I guess I just wanted to put it out there that uh, while people are thanking me for this I should also be thanking you for allowing me to do the same thing by making them it's it's a really roundabout way but <laughs> you know what i mean but i just hope i can continue doing what i'm doing and uh, i'll be thankful every day that i can do that um but yeah i think that's about all i had to ramble about i just really wanted to do a more personal video and Honestly, even after finishing it, I'm just like, should I even upload this? <laughs> like, not to be, again, depressing, I'm sorry, I keep coming back to this stuff, but I don't feel like many people are interested, and I'm not fishing for any compliments or anything like that, or like, oh, I'm super interested or anything. I, I, I really understand that you guys do want to know more about me, but it's really hard for me to properly understand it because I don't feel like I I am an interesting person and it's hard for me to actually just sit down and talk and feel like oh that's an entertaining video you know it, it feels like a very old school type of video like stuff I used to do back when I made videos in 2009 and 2010 that this video would have went viral back then no maybe not but um it was very fitting with that style where you just turn on the camera and just ramble but uh, I, I feel like it's not going to be something I do often. And I, I feel like especially the start of New Year is a perfect time to kind of chat with you all and tell you where I'm at. And uh, I hope you're all good too. I hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. And uh, I hope that we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Well, you'll be seeing a lot of me because if I saw a lot of you, that would be weird. But I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> what a note to go out on. <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed this video um, for some reason. One reason or another. And I hope that uh, it didn't make you abandon me and that I do see you next time. I appreciate you watching, as always, folks. And I do hope to see you next time. Please come back. Don't judge me on this one alone. Shout out to Patreons Kitty Hoover, Conifus, Critter, Kyle DeFriatis, Kyle L. Watson, Laura Klein, Laura the Hulk, Lightning Hawk, Lightning Lad 27, Lorena Molina, Lucien Herzog, Lucy Malone, Loxar, Melon Stanley, Mathazar, Matthew Wilhoit, Mayor Deborah Kong, Mice Chicken, Michael David Rose, Miss Suz, Mr. Robin Plus, Matinho777, Nadim Kamel, Natalie Walker, Nathan Furman, and Nathaniel, more like Bor Ragnarok.